What's up YouTube, Mambuna Marcus here. It's been quite a while since I've given you guys a little video. And uh, what you see in front of you is a 75 gallon breeder aquarium. And uh, I have a new project that I'm going to be working on and it's basically going to be to breed some red tares. Uh, red tares are a large South American cichlid. And I picked these guys up about a year ago. I grew them in their own aquarium, so there was no interaction between the male and female. Uh, when I picked them up, the female was probably around four and a half inches, and the male was maybe five and a half, six. Uh, he's sitting in a pail right now, and he's probably around the ten and a half inch mark. The diameter of the pail is twelve inches, so he might even be closer to uh, you know eleven and a half. Uh, but either way, um, the female herself has been living in this aquarium for a good month. And I figured uh, the reason for that is I want her to take claim of the aquarium instead of the male. If you do it the other way around, a male could actually be extremely hard on a newly introduced female if she doesn't have a place to hide. So that's what this fortress is in the one corner of the aquarium. It's basically a place for the female to hide out at. So, as you can see, she, uh, I have like her uh, original knockoff, you know, log that she used to hang out in, and I built it up with some slate and a couple other ornaments to keep things in order. But basically, there's really no access in and behind that. So, you know, keeping South American or Central American cichlids, we all know that they can fight. Uh, but this will be a good, uh, you know, a good enclosure for the female if the male gets too aggressive. But again, she was introduced first, so that way I hope that she dictates the pace that goes on. So next part of the video, I'll show you guys, uh, you know, obviously their first interaction together, and I, you know, hope, you know, shortly down the road, I'll be able to breed them. But a lot of times I like to kind of divide the tank into two. Usually I use something in the center to kind of divide the tank off just even a couple rocks um, and on this side you know clearly will be the the male red tares uh, territory nice uh, big piece of natural driftwood and his ceramic tube that he used to love hanging out with in his you know grow aquarium so there will be some familiarity but as long as he can't get her in here we should be okay so here's the male um, you guys probably seen him in a couple of my fish room update videos when he was a lot smaller. But again, the tank that he was in was just a 35 gallon tank and it had very moderate lighting on it. So there was never a, a real chance to show off how beautiful he is. Uh, the female, again, just by her nature, she seems to be pretty passive or again a little skittish. So I don't expect her to come running out of her little fortress. She might be curious and we'll see, but I figured I'll document the male and as you can see he seems to be uh, you know this is just a couple minutes after introducing him but he seems to be quite happy um, obviously the last aquarium he was in was a 35, grow, uh, 35 gallon grow out which is not a big aquarium but I will tell you he uh, he was very very happy very interactive and uh, eats like a pig and I have to say um, I'm very thrilled just with the personality of these guys I'm still like a parachromis wolf cichlid type of guy, uh, but these guys are like big brute dogs, you know. Again, a very, very aggressive cichlid, but a little more interactive, you know. Uh, I found with the dovi, uh, they, you know, they can be very interactive, but their intent is obviously to, to come get you, you know. Whereas one of these guys, you know, they'll kind of interact with your hand, you know, hand feeding them is not a problem. And uh, just again, a fish with a lot of personality, but you can see. Uh, he looks quite nice in the 75 gallon tank and I'm sure once the female comes out it'll be really interesting to see uh, the interaction between the two considering it's almost been a year since they've been separated. Like I said I don't think there's a chance they'll remember each other but you never know these are actually very very intelligent uh, cichlids and uh, I look forward to seeing it. And here we go. This is uh, the first interaction between the two. And uh, the female red tares are uh, basically what makes this fish, you know, pretty popular. If you haven't seen them before, um, the females get just tremendous coloration. You can see the barring on them. They almost look a little bit like a tiger. 
Um, I'm not sure how long this interaction is going to live out or play out. She might go back into hiding pretty quickly. Uh, but again, it's very important, like I said in the beginning part, make sure if you are breeding large Central and South American cichlids, that there is a place for the female to get away from the male if he decides to go on a rampage. That's very important. Second of all, um, one other note I'd like to mention is that if I am growing out a pair of fish and I keep them separated, I do like to feed the male more than the female and I like to do water changes more readily. The reason for that is to grow the male more quickly than the female. Typically a male is going to outgrow a female anyways, but when you have a larger size difference, like I said, putting together you know, a little fortress or a hideaway is possible. If they're the same size, the female really can't outrun or get away from the male because he'll be able to go into all the, the inner, you know, he'll basically be able to go through all the tunnel work and, uh, you know, rock work and uh, obviously that would just prove to be useless. So, you know, a lot of people do keep uh, similar sized pairs together and usually, you know, it can be fine too. But with my experience, um, you know, everything can be fine and then the next day we can have a real problem on our hands. So either way, um, as you can see, she's kind of taken off. She hasn't really developed her full maturity colors. I imagine if I were to follow up and do a video within about a week's time, if there is good interaction between the male and female, I'll kind of be able to uh, showcase her in her showcase her in her full dress and again that's pretty much the the red terrors claim to fame it's the beautiful beautiful females and again if you've never seen one before just look one up on uh, google put in red terror cichlid and right away you'll see uh, the beauty that I'm talking about so overall looks uh, like the first interaction went well no one really uh, felt each other out by you know biting or uh, tussling but I imagine, uh, you know, with the place that she can hide in and uh, plenty of other space for the male, we should be fine. Thanks for watching.